Alright, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can create your own multiplayer server. Now, this is going to, I know I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know about this, but this is for the people who I guess don't know about it, plus for you guys who, you know, I've always wondered how you could create your own server in an easier way than you guys can. So this is Delete Minecraft Server's um, multiplayer thing. This um, app will allow you to create your own Minecraft Pocket Edition server. Alright guys, here we are in the Delete Server app. Now, for you guys who don't know this, but I'm pretty sure you guys should know this, most servers usually require um, some form of money. Like, even though the app itself is free, you do have to invest your own money in order to keep your server running. Or maybe you don't have to, you know, maybe you just want to have your own server. But this thing will allow you to make your own. Now, Delete Server allows you to create your own Minecraft Pocket Edition server. As you guys can see, there's a lot of things you guys can do with the server app. The servers are usually ran by server's credits. Now, um, in order to keep a server up, you usually need to pay 10 credits per day. And every if you make a new account, um, it's usually you're going to get 70 free credits, I believe. So, that means you get seven, the first 7 days for free to see if you guys like it or not. You guys can also buy credits here, as you guys can see. And they are um, they cost uh, not too much, to be honest. Like, you know, 300 credits is just a dollar. And 2,000 credits is just $5. So, you can literally keep your server up really, really long if you can, you know, um, get a good amount of money every month, I guess. Um, over here, you can actually view a bunch of sponsorships and all that. It doesn't seem like it really isn't any. I didn't actually get to look at this earlier, but the sponsorship side, but I don't know what that's about. But anyways, here you guys can see the server status of your own server. So, my current server is offline. Um, I'm going to turn it on so we can enter it as soon as we're done um, showcasing this app. Now, we're gonna quickly wait for this to be done. Alright guys, so here we go. Now that my server is now online, um, there's a lot of things you guys can do here. Now, I don't have my server registered, but you can register your server by creating your own login, so it's a lot easier for you to manage your stuff. But I'm not gonna do that now. I'm pretty sure you guys can do that yourself. But there we go. It'll also tell you the IP and port of your server. Now we're going to enter it um, as soon as we're done showcasing the rest of the stuff here. But you can also change a lot of stuff. As you can see, you can change the name of your server. You can change the game mode. Um, make people OP. I'm the only one OP in my current server so far because, you know, it's my server. I called it a 12 world because, you know, my world. Over here in the game mode, uh, you can change from creative, survival, adventure mode, or spectator. I'm going to keep it in creative because I want to, you know, fly around and show you guys this kind of stuff. Now you guys can also change the map to anything. Now every all of the maps are free. I just kept it standard, but I do want to kind of change it to see how it works. So we're going to change it to a snow biome. So like when we enter the server, it should be a snowy terrain um, when it's done. So we just got to wait for it to, you know. All right. Now down here, you have a ton of other features. Now I'm pretty sure you guys won't see this at first, but I turned on my advanced features. You guys can probably see that when you guys go in. So uh, this is the advanced mode, basically. You can turn on some type of spawn protection, which means that, you know, um, spawn, like where the area where you spawn can't be destroyed no matter what. I'll keep that off because, you know, I'm just going to have fun with it after we're done. You can turn on a whitelist so specific people, only specific people you want could join. Like, you know, you can put in names, make your own list of people. So, you know, not everyone could join, but, you know, a specific people lay like, amount. Over here, you can whitelist the players. Now, I'm going to whitelist myself because I don't want, I'm pretty sure the server is going to be up even after I'm done with the review and I don't want you guys just coming in and doing stuff with it, so... I'm gonna just whitelist myself super fast. I don't know, I might actually do something with the server in the future, but for now, I guess I'm just gonna keep it to myself. Alright, right here, your default number of slots will be 5, because the more um, slots you have in your server, the more you're most likely gonna have to pay. Like, if you want 100 players to be on at once, then you're gonna have to pay a lot more credits. But I'm keeping it at 5, since so it's only gonna be myself. You turn it off and on PvP, see, you know, if you guys, if you want your, um, the players in the server to be able to hit each other. You can turn animals or the mobs on. The weather, I'm gonna keep it off because I don't really want the server to be, I don't know, just, I don't want it to rain at all. Keep it always day or you can turn on a night cycle if you want to. Uh, you can create your own user login, which means people will have to, uh, you know, create a password and username, which I do recommend doing, but since I'm the only one using my server right now, you know, I, I don't, you know, really, I'm not really into anything. You can create your own custom ranks and all that, but you will have to pay more credits in order for that to be, you know, used. Now, down here in the premium features, um, okay, so there are a lot of stuff here. Now, these are basically all the default plugins you can add. There are VIP slots. There are VIP slots, teleportation, they have a morph thing, they have notifications and all that. There's simply a lot of stuff you guys can do. We're in the top, you know, I think the top one says, yeah, economy, you can start, you can make it a faction server if you want to. So there's a lot of uh, possibilities for your server, it's totally up to you guys, but that should be about it for the app. Now let's actually try out the server, so that's the IP import, let's go try it out, head over to Minecraft Auction and see how it works. Alright, here you go guys, I put my server and IP in right there, aa 12 world over here. Now if you click it, it should hopefully work, there we go guys, as you guys can tell. 
This is my world, and we are in a snow biome just like I said it to and all that. I don't know why my skin is the Alex skin. What's going on? I don't know. It's being weird. But, um, yeah, so I'm the only player online. Um, these servers are actually pretty smooth. They look, they don't look really bad. They actually look nice. They have, like, a default Minecraft train and all that. As you can see, we're right next to the Taiga biome. There's a snow biome right here and all that. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure with you guys who want to, like, create your own servers, you guys can figure this out for yourself. See, see all the possibilities and there are other people who have servers you know who have creative lead servers and I'm, I see them a lot in my comment section but have never really taken the time to look around and see what you guys have done but I've seen um really really good servers where people have created like their own faction server their own survival world server SMPs and all that and it's just super awesome to see how it is and all that but anyways the I'll see if I can leave like a link to this um app in the uh, description below if not um, just search it up like I did, it's not too hard to do and all that, and um, yeah, really awesome thing, I decided to finally do a video on this, because again, you guys have like freaking, you know, showed me all the stuff, so I checked it out for myself, and it seems like a pretty cool thing for you guys who, you know, want to find out how to create your own server, of course this isn't the only way, but this is by far the easiest way if you guys just want to like use an app. And deal with everything all by yourself. Anyways, that'll be it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you guys have learned a lot about this thing. If you guys did enjoy what you see today, please go drop down a like down below. Only if you guys did enjoy this video. Tell me what you guys think about this. I know a lot of you guys probably know about this. And you guys know me. I'm always late to a lot of stuff. But, um, you know, don't hate on me too much for that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like on the video only if you guys did enjoy. And leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think about something. You know, that's actually this awesome. I think this is pretty cool right here. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. And peace. Bye, guys. Woo!